From this new popular style of music known as ragtime, the jazz tradition began to develop and flourish in America out of places like Harlem, New Orleans, and Kansas City. The blues would soon fuse with ragtime melodies, and the word jazz was first used in 1913. Coleman Hawkins developed his own style, playing on tenor saxophone alongside the likes of Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington's bands in New York. Benny Goodman, George Gershwin, Ella Fitzgerald, and Billie Holiday ushered in the jazz and swing scene of New York in the 1920s and 30s, popularizing the big band sax sections of Paul Whiteman's orchestra and Cab Calloway. By the early 40s, sophisticated improvisers like Lester Young and Charlie Parker would elevate the saxophone in the jazz world. Charlie Parker established the bebop era with Dizzy Gillespie and Miles Davis. The likes of the Dave Brubeck Quartet and saxophonist Paul Desmond in the 50s would further the instrument's popularity. Stan Getz, Barry player Jerry Mulligan, alto player Cannonball Adderley, tenor man Sonny Rollins, and John Coltrane are but a few artists who made great contributions to jazz, forever identifying the saxophone with a singular genre unlike any other instrument. To celebrate the saxophone in the jazz era, we invite an all-star inner service sax section to perform two classic solos by Charlie Parker. Harmonized for five horns in these super sax arrangements, here are the Kansas City Blues and Confirmation. <laughs> 